Hey everyone, in this video, we are going to discuss about how to crack any manual testing interview. All right. I'm going to discuss about a couple of topics as well as the few examples that will basically help you to crack any kind of a manual testing interview. Trust me, these are the important points that I have learned over the past 10 years of experience and they work very well. All right. So let's get started and make sure you are watching this video at 1.5x or 1.2x so that you can finish up the video. I'm going to discuss about a couple of important documentation as well as the templates also, which will help you to basically crack your manual testing interview. All right. So let's get started and let's learn how, why and how you can basically crack any manual testing interview. All right. So let's get started. Amazing. Right? So first of all, I just would like to discuss about the first important point, which is out of box thinking. Let me tell you any important scenario. So what happens is suppose, suppose I have given you a coupon code website. Okay. Just think about it. Okay. I have given you one coupon code. For example, suppose promo is a code, right? Now you want to test this code, right? So what happens is why, what are the things that any kind of an interviewer, right? Who's expecting from you, right? And what exactly you are replying is very different right? Make sure that you are basically thinking out of the box scenarios always. Okay. What are these promote? Please let me know. Let me tell you like how a simple person can give basically give, give you the test cases or a test scenarios. Okay. He will say, okay, uh, so uh, I actually, uh, so suppose I have this, so this is like a person one, like suppose P1. Uh, oh, but I will do is I will just apply, apply and I will just basically check that it is working on it, right? This is like a simple example. They will check or it will check or it will say that, okay, after certain time, I will check the expired logic. That's it. Right? So this is, this is a answer from a simple person, but trust me, this is what, this is not exactly what they're expecting from you guys. That's where the out of boxing, out of box thinking comes in, right? Where, what you need to tell them, that's how, like, just remember this thing. So suppose they have given you this scenario, right? Okay. So in this e-commerce website, whenever we are basically doing add to cart, right? You have, you can apply a promo code and you will get it 10% extra. Now, so say, see, you have to tell them scenarios. You don't have to tell them test cases. Okay. There is a huge difference. If you don't know the difference between a test cases and test scenarios, I would highly recommend, uh, there's a video in the description. Please make sure you watch it. Okay. Second important thing is test scenarios are nothing but a one liner of your test cases. Now what you will do is you will basically write down the test cases in front of them. Uh, it test scenarios. I mean, sorry. So test scenarios, uh, how they, you will write is basically you'll say, okay, uh, you have, you have given a positive scenario. So first positive scenario will be that I will basically check that our promo should work and I will get the 10% discount. That's it. Like a positive scenario. Now, what I will try in a negative one. Now, here comes the out of box thinking. What a user can do. So, user basically can do is basically he after six months, for example, after six months, he can apply. So, six months in arrow, so expiry. What we are doing is we are checking the different expiry, right? We are basically checking that minimum cart value should not be null, right? For example, after applying this, we are not getting a zero value, uh, zero value product. Right. That's where it's out of box thinking, right? What about uh, what happens if the person apply this, uh, th is there is any maximum usage? So you will say that, uh, you will ask to the interview, right? If there is any, any maximum usage for this, right? So that's how you are coming up with the out of box scenario. There can be multiple ones. There can be multiple world with this simple, simple example of a coupon code. Understood this. I mean, this is one of the example that I think, uh, long back uh, where most of the companies are using whenever they're asking in the in in the interview also because this is this was very similar to a particular question but see that's how you have to tell them you have to tell them in a way where you will be you have to write down you have to tell them in a test scenario format that's it okay so i think first point is clear right second thing is you have to tell them a process like how your documentation processes you will tell them that i will prepare a plan so now, according to this, you will basically mention that what is your test test strategy here? Strategy, right? Pardon my pardon my uh, grammar or something like this, right? Uh, spelling, especially. Uh, you will say how do you write your test cases, right? Uh, here, basically, in the documentation, if there is any requirement traceability matrix that you are basically uh, following, you can do that. What will be your bug report, right? You can showcase them. 
I think in the last video, we have, we have discussed about short, short way to crack any manual testing interview. We have discussed like how you should be prepared with these kind of documentation process, right? Trust me, this is where things are, th things will be different for you guys. Whenever you show you, whenever you show something different, right? Then uh, people or interviewer will understand, yes, you have done the process. You have done these uh, certain things, right? Now you have to tell them a proper STLC lifecycle. Just remember this, which is software testing lifecycle. Just tell your process according to the STLC. So we have different, different phases in the STLC, right? And we have a different entry criteria, extra, ex exit criteria documents also that you need to basically tell them properly. That's where I told you, right? Manual testers, you are not able to crack the interview because you don't know the documentation process. You thought that after just learning few of the testing technique, make you a manual tester? No. Okay. Make sure you follow the proper pro documentation process. Power of debugging, guys. Make sure you know how to debug any kind of a network request by using Chrome Dev Tools, right? Which is very, very important. Now, another thing which is coming is logs, guys. So we have a gray logs. We have Sentry JS, right? We have a console logs. So these, there are multiple logging system which are coming. Logs are nothing where you will see if there is an error, which is basically giving you, uh, whenever you are running your test cases, right? There is an error, error in login page, sign up page, dashboard page, right? Anything related to it, you will be able to debug this. So this is very, very important skill that you should be following up, which is power of debugging. Okay, sense of ownership, I think this is important where you will let your interviewer know that yes, I own this project right from the starting whenever you are basically thinking about the requirement till the test execution and sending the report or after even doing the production releases, I own the full responsibility and I will take care of your RCAs, root course analysis, templates also if there are, if there are production bugs also. So yes, you have to follow all these things and you have to tell them. Critical thinking is basically where you will think about the out of box scenario. It's very similar to that. And you basically discuss with your developers. You just discuss with your developers about the scenario, possible failure scenarios and think about, always think about as a user perspective, right? This is, this is very important. So first, User perspective is very, very important thing for you guys to follow. Know about your project. This is where I have seen people are getting rejected in manual testing interviews. They are not aware about their project. First of all, they are not clear with the requirements. They are not clear with the test cases. They are not clear with the test scenario, what test scenario they have written and what kind of bugs. So another important one was the type of bugs they have encountered. Okay, so just remember, make sure you are prepared with your project properly and whatever the different type of bugs that you have encountered, just remember them as well as for any kind of a bug, there are two things that you need to note down. What was the impact and what was the risk and basically impact on the customer and what was the risk that we, why this was, why this happened, right? So that you have to know, okay? I hope these uh, important points are making sense to you guys. If you want me to cre create more videos around it, like how you can properly crack and how I was able to crack my manual testing interviews, right, through this uh, documentation or through uh, the important points, if you want to know about it, just let me know in the comment, just type manual in the comment. I will create another part of uh, this video series. I hope you have learned something new guys. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video.